Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about today is oil. Yeah, cooking oil to be exact, and a shortage that is looming as biofuel demand surges due to climate solution. So this is, you know, a key ingredient ingredient commonly found in all of our kitchens and it could face a shortage in the coming months as global biofuel consumption surges due to climate change initiatives. Now, Western nations are increasingly adopting plant-based energy sources, such as soybean or canola oils or even animal fats in a move to reduce carbon emissions by transitioning away from fossil fuels. Now this shift has presented a profitable opportunity for vegetable and palm oil producers to redirect some cooking oil supplies toward the transportation sector rather than their traditional use in fruit production. Hot demand for biofuels combined with the invasion, okay, disrupting AG flows and extreme weather in Argentina curbing vegetable oil supplies and other top producers reeling from declining production could push vegetable oil production into a deficit in the second half of this year. So it's been pointed out that biofuels account for a large share of the vegetable oil market, but only a fraction of energy demand and soaring demand for bio diesel, renewable diesel, and biojet fuel has primarily been concentrated in the U.S., in Europe, in Brazil, and also in Indonesia. However, the global palm oil market could struggle to meet demand and their production levels stagnant with Indonesia and with Malaysia responsible for 85% of the global supply in periods of supply shortages the necessary rationing of demand must not take place only on the shoulders of the food consumers this is a lesson we have to learn from last year now global decarbonization efforts might result in unintended consequences for consumers who could soon face the prospect of rising cooking oil prices or also potential shortages. So what I would suggest you do is stock up while you still can. Also, save your cooking fats, bacon fats, beef fats, pork fats, things like that. That's what I do. I save them in my mason jars. All right. All right, guys, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping, and as always, fearless. Ciao.